So next up is evaluating logarithms. Example 1 asks us to solve when 2187 is equal to 2 to the exponent x plus 1. In grade 11 you would have used a guess and check method. And eventually you would get that x is equal to approximately 10.1. In grade 12, however, we're going to isolate for the variable x. So step one is to rewrite it as a logarithm. Expressed as a logarithm, we would get x plus 1 is equal to the log of base 2 of 2187. And then if we isolate for x, we get log base 2, 2187, minus 1. And then we can solve for x. Which we'll get is approximately 10.1. And soon, we'll look at how to use your calculator to evaluate this logarithm. So example two, let's use the definition of the logarithm to determine the value for each expression. So log base four of 64. So one way to evaluate this is to rewrite it as an exponent. So we can say four to the exponent of x is equal to 64. And we know that 64 is the same thing as four cubed. So therefore, x is equal to three. Eventually, I'd like if you went from step one right to the final answer without a calculator. If you do not see a base, then the base is 10. So this one, same as the last one, we're saying what exponent x on 10, since the base is 10, is going to equal 1,000. So again, we can rewrite 1,000 as 10 to the exponent 3, which tells us that x is equal to 3. The nice part about this is, that base 10 is already programmed into most of your calculators. And you can just type in log of 1000 on your calculator and you should get the answer 3. So sorry I should have concluded. Uh, log 464 is equal to 3. And log of 1000 is equal to 3. So let's go to the next one. It's saying what exponent on 2 will give us the answer 64? So what exponent on 2 will give us 64? And 2 to the exponent 6 is equal to 64. So therefore, log 2 of 64 is equal to 6. What about the next one? What exponent on 2 will give us the answer negative 4? Well, we know 2 times 2 is positive 4. 2 to the exponent negative 2 is 1 quarter. And if you think about an exponent, recall that exponential functions of the form y equal a to the x have a range of y which is greater than 0. So we cannot have a negative value. So this is not possible. All right, next one. What exponent on 3 gives us 1 over 27? So 3 to the exponent x equals 1 over 27. So that would be 1 over 3 cubed. But again, we want a base of 3. So this would be 3 to the exponent of negative 3. And therefore, x equals negative 3. Or log base 3 of 1 over 27 is equal to negative 3. Next one, log base 5. So 5 to some exponent should equal the cubed root of 25. Remember the cubed root is the same thing as the exponent of 1 third. 25 is the same thing as 5 squared. And using our exponent rules, we get 5 to the exponent of 2 thirds, which means that x is equal to 2 thirds. So this tells us that the logarithm, base 5, of the cubed root of 25 is equal to 2 thirds. So right now we haven't needed to use a calculator. But let's take a look at the next one. 5 to the exponent x is equal to 47. We can use a calculator for this. And if we're going to use a calculator, using a calculator, log of base 5 to the 47 expressed as base 10 logarithms is log of 47 
over the log of 5. And later on we'll take a look at why this is true. So all you need to do now is type this into your calculator and you should get an approximate value of 2.39. And then you can sub that back in to the exponential to verify your result. So 5 to the exponent 2.39 is approximately 47. Next one, 6 to the exponent of what is equal to 1. So if you ever see a 1 here in your logarithm, the answer for x is always going to be 0, or the log of base anything to 1 is going to equal 0. Next one's an interesting one. We have log of base 5 to 5x. So let's just call this y this time. So we got 5 to the y is equal to 5x, just so we don't get the variables mixed up. And right now we see that y is equal to x. So this is an interesting theorem that if you have log of base 5, 5, and whatever exponent, it's going to give you back whatever exponent is sitting right here. And j, again, if we call this y, then we have log to the base 6 of y is equal to log 6 of x. Notice, this is, these are both log of 6, so the insides of this function must be the same, and we end up with y is equal to x. And since y was equal to our 6 log 6 to the x, then we note that 6 log 6 to the x is equal to x. So this is another identity, if you like. If you take a power and raise it to an exponent of a logarithm with the same base, then you end up getting whatever the logarithm's value is as your result. Same as if you take the logarithm with a base of 5, which we showed over here, and sub in an exponent with a base of 5, you get back the exponent. So h, i, and j are three properties. Log of base a to the 1 is always 0. Log of base a to the power a to the exponent of x is always x. And the power a raised to the exponent of log of base a to x is equal to x. So three properties you should note. And now we know how to evaluate logarithms with our calculator. If you want to evaluate log base a to b, using a calculator that does not have a feature to select different bases, all you do is take the logarithm of b and divide it by the logarithm of a. And remember, your calculator is in base 10. So now we can go back to our first question at the top. If I wanted to evaluate this expression, this would be the log of 2187 over the log of 2 minus 1. And if you use your calculator, you should get approximately 10.1. So no need to guess and check. Try the following questions and let me know how it goes.